Battelle is named after Gordon Battelle. Gordon Battelle was the son of an industrialist and in his will he left his fortune to the creation of a Battelle Institute and the objective was to take innovation, inventions, into the marketplace. And then he said, with that money that you make from that, do good things for humankind and in particular for education. Well, our philosophy is to really execute the will of Gordon Battelle. Now there's a lot of nuance in that and we read the details of the will very carefully. So for us it's a bit like the Constitution. We revisit it, we study it and we say in today's world would this have fit his intent. And we have a long history of the kinds of things we've invented. The Xerox machine, the compact disc, the tamper-proof seal on drugs, cruise control on an automobile, coatings for M&Ms so they don't stick to you. Uh, there's a number of sporting inventions we've done in golf and other sports. And then we take that profit and we try and educate and build educational systems to keep that engine of good going. Our mission uh, is to improve the quality of STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, so that we can inspire the next generation of scientists, engineers, and technology leaders. The key to STEM education uh, is linking the theory to practice for students. So it's one thing for us to put them in a classroom uh, in front of a blackboard and teach them uh, the, the high-level math that they need to be engineers. But it's another thing to let them build things. Kids like to build things uh, and create things and know how things work. So we became absolutely convinced that integrated, project-based um, education was the best way uh, to uh, inspire more young people to go into STEM education. And Metro was our first effort uh, to implement that vision. Metro High School is one of the first STEM schools in the state of Ohio. We are founded in partnership with Battelle Memorial Institute in The Ohio State University. And our goal really is to be an intellectually vibrant um, school where students can really reach their potential. Our student body comes to Metro through a lottery process, completely non-selective. It has nothing to do with what your academic progress was in middle school and everything to do with you choosing to really embrace the philosophy of the school. Metro is a mastery school, so that means that in order for a student to get their credit and move forward to the next class, they have to learn all of the content at 90%. That's really an important piece for us because we feel like it makes sense for you to be really strong in the foundations and really have a strong grasp on your content so that you have all kinds of access to any kind of career choice or college entry point that you really want to. One of the most important pieces of the assessment and classroom work that we do here at Metro is making the work really relevant. So what that means is we need to have partners with people in the field who are really doing the work and we need to have project-based opportunities for students to really apply the content knowledge in real-world situations. The learning environment at Metro is really cool compared to a normal high school. I've gained so many experiences and hands-on opportunities and we have partnerships with Ohio State so I've taken multiple classes um, and all the freedom that I get to have compared to a normal high school is really awesome. My friends all talk about their normal high school day. It's very structured. They go to class in the same building. They don't get to move around campus. But when I come to school every day, I first come to the lab. I get to work every day in the morning. And then I go to my high school to take a class for an hour and a half. And then I take um, an Ohio State credit class, learning and motivation styles, every afternoon. I chose to go to Metro High School because I really like the opportunity to take college classes here on OSU early. I really enjoy the Bodies program because it is so hands-on and I get to see so many things. I've been able to do dissections and visit places that a lot of kids in medical school don't even get to see. This research is really preparing me for my college and career. It has opened my eyes to new opportunities in food science and just being able to work in a lab with all of these other great lab researchers is a great experience. The unique and innovative thing about Metro High School is that it's always evolving. The answer here is never because that's the way we did it last year. So we're always seeking to be on the forefront of what is going on in education. We're seeking to not just implement but really create innovative ideas for what high school education should really look like. We've been proud to take the Metro model um, and replicate it around Ohio. Uh, we now have 10 schools that make up the Ohio STEM Learning Network. 
Uh, we're honored to be in Tennessee building similar schools. And then uh, Battelle uh, helps support uh, what is the largest and fastest growing national network of STEM advocacy groups in their states and programs in schools, STEMX, uh, which is our multi-state uh, STEM network. We live in an era of extraordinary technological advances. Unlike any time uh, in history, uh, the, the, the health and, and well-being of nations is really tied uh, to the skill level of its workforce, and that in particular uh, is tied to the skill levels in, uh, in STEM education. I think the innovation that Battelle exhibits in its science and technology and engineering is equally important to exhibit in how we explore improving STEM education. I see kids who wouldn't otherwise make it because of their socio-economic background, the opportunity that they don't have. And when I see a 75-person class graduate and they're all going to college, I feel very good about the investments we've made. I think Gordon Battelle would have been proud.